Foyu is attempting to revive Grand Peace Online. But the question you need to ask is, huh? is Foyu doing it the right way? Now, about three months ago, Foyu brought out Grand Peace Online Update 8, which everybody has been waiting for for a while. Originally, Update 8 was meant to be in two parts. The first part, which was Dressrosa, and the second part, which was gonna bring Impel down to the game. Lord and behold, three months later, there's been little to no news on how Update 8 Part 2 is going. At this point, we may as well name it Update 9. However, recently Foyu did actually post something within the Grand Peace Online Discord server. Within the Foyu Sneak Peeks channel, he did show that he's going to add crew conquest to the game. Now the funny thing about this is Cruise was meant to be fixed since like update 5, maybe even update 4, I don't know. Cruise have been broken for almost 2 years now. And if you go inside the discord server it reads, top 50 crews will get an exclusive weapon. And here he's showing the different points that you can see. This is really interesting because it means you're going to have to sail across the ocean in order to capture points efficiently. Meaning, if you didn't buy the fastest boats in the game, you're actually going to take forever to traverse the sea. So, I'm not too sure how fair that is, I'm not going to lie to you. If you don't pay for striker, you're not capturing points efficiently. So, adding conquest mode and making having to sail to the different islands a feature is kind of tough when the best boats in the game are paid to win. I'm just throwing that one out there because it had to be said. And then he says top 50 crews will get an exclusive weapons. And then he puts another screenshot of securing Marine Base G1 and it works just like Conquest. I do hate the Conquest game mode and I know I'm going to hate the Conquest game mode in this game because not only do you have to traverse across the sea, which we know takes a long time to go from one spot to another, but if you don't have a fast boat, it's going to take even longer to go from one point to another. So it's going to be quite interesting. I, I do want to see how this is um, being being formulated. Before you then proceed to say base max members will be 10 for the crew. So I'm assuming when the update drops, you're only going to be able to invite 10 people to your crew. But as your crew does conquest and earns more conquest points, the crew captain can increase the max members all the way up to 500. So the more you play conquest, the more people you can have in your crew. And I'm assuming you're just going to dominate the game once you're able to get 500 people within your crew. You're essentially unkillable at that point. But you can only have, what, 20 people in a GPO server at a time? So very curious to see how this works. And you're probably going to need a certain amount of people in the server from different crews or different factions in order to actually do conquest efficiently. Now, let's continue. But the cost to increase the max members is exponential. Exponential. Why the hell can I not pronounce that word? Right now, the idea for conquest is four crews go up against each other to capture an island. Now, again, is this going to be a game mode or is this going to be in the main game? This is a really, really big question. Because if this is in the main game, there are not enough players that are able to fit into one server that will allow this game mode to work efficiently. If there's going to be four different crews and only 20 people can be in the GPL server at a time, that's kind of lame. That really means there's only going to be four teams of five. So I do, and again, I'm assuming Conquest is going to have multiple points, probably four or five. I, I want to see how this works. Now, this might work something similar to how Arcane Odyssey did. Again, requiring a certain amount of other players from the opposite faction to be in the server. But I'm not too sure what the point of having 500 people in your crew if there can only be a certain amount of people within a server and even then there has to be four crews going up against each other mm, they're probably going to need to increase server sizes or make this its own game mode i don't honestly see how this makes sense marines can also make their own factions to participate uh and then he replied to the top 50 crews again exclusive weapon untradeable once you once you drop below 50 whoa once you drop below the top 50 the weapon is auto removed from your inventory meaning if you don't consistently play this game you're not getting your weapon so it's an untradeable weapon probably to keep it within the conquest game mode and make sure people can't don't have a whole bunch of it and even when you get the weapon if you drop below the top 50 the weapon is then removed from your inventory and bro when you go to sleep and wake up somebody else is going to have more points than you 
which means you gotta farm this game over and over and over and over and over if you want to keep the weapon um similar to arcane odyssey even if you were when it first came out even if you were first place if you go to sleep your crew goes to sleep and you wake up you're gonna be all the way in 15th place so i hate features like this because it forces you to play the game you're not playing the game because you want to play the game Playing the game because you have to play the game or you're going to lose the weapon. And the weapon, if it's untradeable and disappears from your inventory, is definitely going to be overpowered. You can guarantee it's going to be overpowered. But it's a good feature to get people to play the game again. I get it from for you standpoint. You want people to get back on the game. Um, and honestly, it's not a bad idea. I just don't like the fact that I'm being forced to play the game. Not too sure how long this is going to last because once people get tired of slaving away, they might just drop the whole conquest game mode entirely because nobody wants to fight for their position forever. And once people realize getting top 50 is going to be crazy because there's going to be 50,000 other people trying to get it, yeah, it's going to be tough. I find all of this super interesting because this is the only new news we've gotten in terms of any update. And I guarantee you this isn't even going to come with update 8.2, aka update 9. This is probably going to be an update 8.1 type of update. Recently, the only thing we've gotten or the only news we've gotten in regards to update 8 part 2 or any news on the game is the showcase for you brought out for the new vampire fruit. And literally, that is just for you taking what he saw on type soul and applying it to gpo for you loves adding non-canon content even though we don't have any canon content on gpo there's still so much to cover i'm not mad at him the showcase looked pretty cool i guess again it just looked like vampire from from type soul and some reskinned venom stuff i'm not gonna lie to you that's what it looked like to me don't know what it looked like to you guys. And from the looks of it, since Folu's taking pictures of the sneaks with the fruit equipped, it's probably gonna come before update 8.2 or update 8 part two, AKA update nine. So it's probably not even gonna come in update nine. It's probably gonna come with this uh, mini update of the conquest stuff. I don't know, Folu should probably save all of this and add it to update eight part two, AKA update nine in order for us to just have more content to go over when the update finally does arrive but if for you's adamant on pushing this update i'm honestly just going to assume that update 8 part 2 aka update 9 isn't going to come anytime soon we are not getting impel down until about like end of october honestly so honestly i don't know that's honestly about it not too sure what direction for is going to take gpo uh, in the near future but i'm curious to see i don't know if i'm too optimistic because i thought he's kind of selling <laughs> but it's okay honestly it's okay let me see you guys in the next one let me know what you guys opinion is on the crew update it's for good that we're finally getting crews fixed and for you doing something significant with it but i hate conquest conquest is a terrible game mode see you guys in the next one peace